due course. I am so sorry to interrupt you, Joan. Oh the my president God. speaking at the okay. White House. He just signed the criminal reform bill. Let's listen in. Busy two or three days. Uh, it's been very positive. Things are happening that haven't happened in our government for a long time. Uh, the other night, as you know, we had a vote on border security, and I think we want to discuss this just for a second. But the House of Representatives voted 217 to 185, uh, approving strong border security and the money necessary to take care of the barrier, wall, or steel slats, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same. Uh, and uh, it was a tremendous evening for the Republicans, to be honest with you, because uh, the level of spirit, the level of of uh, happiness. A lot of people came out. They said they have never seen one man in particular. He's been there for over 20 years. He said, I've never seen spirit or enthusiasm like this. They came from all parts of the country. A couple of them came from other parts outside. So I say all parts of the world in order to vote. And they voted and it was an incredible vote. And we were told that you would never get the House to vote. Well, we were able to get the House to vote. And it wasn't that we did it, they did it. They were incredible. So I want to thank, in this case, House Republicans, because what they did was rather incredible. And now uh, the Senate is looking at it. We just had a meeting with some of our great senator Republicans and lasted for a long time. Tremendous enthusiasm for border security. And I think I can speak for them very strongly when I say they want to see something happen on border security. They want the security of safety. They want safety for our country. Drugs are pouring in, and we've done an incredible job considering we have no barrier. But drugs are pouring into our country. Human trafficking is at the all-time worst uh, in history because of the Internet. And the human trafficking problem is a problem that has gone on through the ages, but it's never been worse because of the Internet all over the world. This isn't the United States. This is all over the world. So we need border security. And the Republicans in the Senate, as you know, are taking it up today. And it's really up to the Democrats, totally up to the Democrats as to whether or not we have a shutdown. Uh, it's possible that we'll have a shutdown. I would say the chances are probably very good because I don't think Democrats care so much about maybe this issue, but this is a very big issue. It's an issue of crime. It's an issue of safety. It's an issue of, of uh, least importantly, dollars. Uh, spend $285 billion a year on illegal immigration. We have to finally do it. The wall will pay for itself on a monthly basis. I mean, literally every month it pays for itself. So we're talking about small amounts of money. Think of it. We approved and we got Good Democrat support. Military last year, $700 billion. Recently, $716 billion for the military. And here we're talking about $5 billion. So it's a tiny fraction, but unfortunately, uh, they've devoted their lives to making sure it doesn't happen. And that wasn't for what should happen. That was for political reasons. So uh, we are going to be working very hard to get something passed in the Senate. There's a very good chance it won't get passed. It's up to the Democrats. So it's really the Democrat shutdown, because we've done our thing. You know, when Nancy Pelosi said, you'll never get the votes in the House, we got them, and we got them by a big margin, 217 to 185. So now it's up to the Democrats as to whether or not we have a shutdown tonight. I hope we don't, but we're totally prepared for a very long shutdown. And. This is our only chance that we'll ever have, in our opinion, because of the world and the way it breaks out, uh, to get great border security. Ronald Reagan tried many years ago, got a note from a member of his family, uh, many years ago tried to get a wall. And he fought for a long time during his entire term, and he was never able to get a wall. And I consider him to be a great president. He knew what he was doing. We are going to, one way or the other, we're going to get a wall, we're going to get uh, a barrier, we're going to get anything you want to name it. You can name it anything you want, but we cannot let what's been going on in this country over the last 10 years, we just can't let it happen. Now to a very positive note, criminal justice 
reform. Everybody said it couldn't be done. They said the conservatives won't approve it. They said the liberals won't approve it. They said nobody's going to approve it. Everybody's going to be against it. It's been many, many years, numerous decades, and nobody came close. And I just want to thank all of the people standing behind me. I want to thank my daughter Ivanka, my son-in-law Jared Kushner. I want to thank to say. Uh, I want to thank uh, Paul and Kevin. I want to thank Mitch. I want to thank Nancy and Chuck, as I say. Affectionately, actually. <laughs> but I do. I want to thank everybody. This was incredible. Bipartisan support. Uh, Mike, you were great. Mike Pence. Everybody. Everybody worked so hard on this. And I look at, you know, behind me, I said, this is a cross-section of everybody in our country. We have everybody here. I won't go into details because I'll get myself into trouble if I go into too many of those details. We have everybody wanting this. We had a few people that didn't, and that's okay. It's impossible to get 100%. But we passed this in the Senate, 87 to 12. That's unheard of. And the one person that missed the vote was actually in Afghanistan doing a very good okay, job. so the president there is talking about um, the criminal justice reform bill, the Fresh Start bill, that 